Hey, what's up, Five Face? Look what I got myself into. Wow, that's a lot of shit. Well, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I have no idea how the fuck I'm supposed to even attempt to take this apart. This is what I think the cause of all of our problems were. What's up, Forehead? It's your boy, back at again in the black high tops. Today, do you guys remember when Tina went for her first therapy session? Oh no, not this again. Yep, we're back in the same spot. Tina decided that she has a problem, so I gotta be the therapist. Okay, well, we're back, trying to fix the same problem, because she's traumatized or something like that, whatever they call it. And I got us a quantum fuel system fuel pump, because I think that's what's gonna be the culprit of our problems. When you get one of these screens, you got two screens. Future me, come on, help me out here. One of these two screens, screens are going to be clogged up or something like that since we have a screen that could be potentially clogged up might as well get a whole new fuel pump and i don't think you can buy just the screen so we're going to be putting the fuel pump on today quantum fuel systems if, if you're seeing this it means it worked go check them out so first things first you might be wondering chris your seat is behind your head what are you doing over here uh well that's another video so maybe go check that one out it's not done yet. This one comes first, actually. But in the future, I'm gonna make sure that that one is, is there. To get to the fuel pump, the fuel pump is in the tank, so we gotta take the tank off. And the seat actually does have to come off to flip the tank up. I'm gonna try and do this the simple way, where I don't have to take the full tank off, but I don't think that's gonna work in my favor. First things first is to get the tank kinda separated from the bike. Two bolts in the top uh, that I've shown you guys fucking a hundred times i haven't shown you a hundred times but i've shown you these bolts before just like with the headlight video i'm going to be using the truck as my bolt keeper and quite possibly part keeper that's gonna break what huh so i'm gonna have another fucking broken bolt to have to deal with all right so that's our fuel pump right down in that thingy that thing looks ugly all right and you might hear the tank is empty i did that on purpose i ran it out of fuel well, almost out of fuel. All right, so next we got some, it looks like 12 or 13 millimeter bolts. Do not be fooled by the long 10 millimeter bolt that you think will bring you immediate satisfaction. It doesn't. The long ones, they're, they're not where it's at, all right? I'm telling you. The, uh, the short ones, those, that's where the fun is. I'll see myself out. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. Anyway, we're going for the short, thick ones. Now, I'm thinking, pull thing just bloop, right off of there. All right, so now I'm gonna be on your side of things, okay? We're gonna do this together. Let's finish this the way we started. Now we start together. Pop this fucker off. Now we got a couple problems here. One of them is this hose, and this line is gonna have two white tabs on it. Pinch and pull on the black. Last thing's last. Get this little guy out of here. Tab, just like a normal electrical connector. Now we have a tank. I did it like this on purpose. See how there's no fuel coming out of here? Yeah, that's what I was going for. Might have some residual gas left in the pump. At first glance, you'll notice that we have five Allen keys. We're just gonna take those off and we'll be able to separate the whole thing. Okay, so now we're gonna take this whole thing off here. Find what's inside. Wow, that's a lot of shit. Well, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I have no idea how the fuck I'm supposed to even attempt to take this apart. Well, what the heck is that? <laughs> we're gonna move this to a bench. Okay, so we're gonna start off by taking off these electrical wires here. We got one Phillips head. So when you buy a fuel pump, I should mention this, it's worth noting that this is going to be where your part number is at on the bottom of the tank. Take this screw out of here. Whoa, that's a lot of pieces that just moved. All right, there's that. And we got a sliding nut here as well. Give everything a gentle wiggle. Gentle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was like my worst fear. That's a whole lot of shit. Got some plastic tabbery going on over here, tabadashery. Pop that out of there. And this should just, whoop. Wow, th these pieces are so fucking intricate for no fucking reason. Now up here, 
that there we go so this is kind of wrong as in this does not look like that all right so we got a bunch of stuff and we're gonna clean it all off a little bit give it a quick little wipe down this is almost dried now at this point to let it dry out it'll be easier to clean out so i'll leave that facing the sun while we're taking everything apart i'm also gonna try and save and use these so we're gonna swap these wires out for the other ones now there are a lot of small tiny PC parts here guys when you're replacing these make sure you keep them organized like I'm probably failing to do right now so since these are gonna be the parts that I'm keeping these are gonna be the parts that I kinda clean up a little bit or try to alright so there's our old fuel pump it's probably still good since I'm not using the new wires I am gonna use the new nuts and stuff so we'll take those lock washers and nuts put them over to the side so I am gonna compare make sure that they are set out the right way positive positive negative negative you guys see that we're lucky enough to have negative and positive on this as well negative positive match up the plus signs and the minus signs here we're not fucking hooligans Arch. you guessed it Arch. It goes in the square oh, hole. Set that on there, followed by a washer, and then a nut. The same thing on the other side. Now, because I don't want to deal with these again, I'm going to really cinch down on these. Is that what you're supposed to do? Probably not, but it's what I'm doing. Pretty important to line up all your tabs. If you have them, I don't know, man. If you're working on a Jixer, then you're going to have all the same stuff. If you're not, follow along, dumbass. Enjoy the show. Like I said, I'm cinching down on these. Pop down on our tab. Now, remembering how everything went together. This was on here. That goes like that. This goes in here, this way. Sometimes you should uh, put a little uh, lube on your O-rings. They tend to go in a lot easier. This went up in there. This was in here. So if you're taking notes, like I wasn't, get this thing in here, we got this. I, dude, I don't even know what these parts are, so I keep saying this, okay? All I know is that they look alike, all right? I know this is the fuel pump itself. I have no idea what this black canister is. I don't know what this is. This could be a fuel pressure regulator for all I fucking know. But it doesn't go anywhere, so I don't know what the fuck it is. Anyway, we got the pump and the shiny metal piece. <laughs> back together we're gonna go ahead and do this screen that was a little fuckered on this plop her on on there and then we need this piece to go in there like that well, would you look at that there are grooves in there you'll feel them and followed by this plastic piece and we'll just click that tab click that tab boom boom and then this goes here you guys ready this is what I think the cause of all of our problems were. <laughs> God, that's horrible. Just rust from the fuel tank, I believe. So you may notice, like I did, that nice gash right there. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm hoping these are the same size because this one's in better shape. And they are. And you fail. So I'll just roll that onto there. Give it a little lube. Guys, I can't tell you how far lube is going to take you in life it could take you some wondrous places slide down the shaft come on there we go there we go we got a couple things that need to get screwed on here we need to take this right here put that back in its rightful place all right well this guy right here put it on like that bring this down here and screw wait this goes right here. That ground cable looks like it's struggling a little bit. Is that it? Is that the hole? Is it in? I think it's in. It's not in. There we go. Yeah, it's in. So that, there, that, there. Come on, sing it with me. That, there, that, there. There's some spiffy fucking washers. I don't know where they came from. Star, star, lock. Lock, and we'll go nut. All right, I'm back from my nut. Now you go nut. Did you enjoy your nut? Everything is looking pretty good here. I'll meet you back over at the bike. Okay, 
So you may notice this right here. That's a seal. We got a new one. Because we have a new one, we're going to use it. All right, and then we just shove everything back in there. Wire. Hey, wire, you just you just got to squeeze. Think skinny, okay? There we go. There we there it is. Okay. If you remember correctly, we had a fuel line that goes directly to this side. If I were to put the tank on, it would need to go directly to this side like that. <laughs> I had it backwards. We'll take our bolts, tighten them back down. Remember, just like a wheel, and there is a gasket, so we're gonna wanna do the star pattern. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna wanna go just snug on the first time, and we'll go back around, get them tight. Hope and pray we have enough gas to start it. <laughs> Good news, there's still fuel in there. Are there any lines that we're supposed to connect? Yes, the electrical connector and the fuel line. Get our bolts, get our tank back on, and we'll see just how well she works. When you try your best but you don't succeed, give the fuck up. Now, we'll see if yeah, anything happens. And we gotta go get gas. And we'll see if we fixed the stuttering problem. Cause Tina's out here being a dumb bitch. And, 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 and now I'm a lesbian. I'm gonna strap you to my face hole and we're gonna go for a ride. Turn the key on. Wow, that fuel pump has a really low hum to it. And... Yeah, that's a problem. Thankfully, the gas station isn't very far. But then it's gonna be uphill again. Fuck. Hey, let's ride. <sighs> oh yeah, we getting speed, baby. Fucking derpy ass face. Come on now, man. Alright. Back to walking, I guess. I'll see you guys there. Alright, so. I only got a gallon of fuel because they don't offer the good stuff. Even though it's it's right there. I guess that tape is there for a reason. All they could give me was the cheap stuff. So, I only got a gallon of it. Next, I'm gonna prime this fuel pump a couple times, and then we should be on our way. Hopefully. This fuel pump is just so damn quiet too. It's really nice. Just got some fuel back here, and we're gonna see if this thing rips, all right? Let's see how well, let's see if, uh, if she's fixed now. I'll immediately be able to tell if I pin it in first gear. If we don't stutter and we start scooting, it means she's back, back to life, baby. <laughs> she's back to life. That, that's a back to life answer right there. Holy shit. Forgot how fucking quick this thing was. Jesus, it's so nimble, light on its feet. <laughs> yeah, baby. We can go this way. Yep, yeah, this way. Juice. Hi, future me here. Please excuse the solid screen because my GoPro just stopped recording and this is the last frame it had apparently, but it recorded audio and this is the audio like 10 minutes after this.
I'm gonna put you through a fucking wall. It ran good for 10 fucking minutes. To be continued, I guess. This is the continuation. All I really did was take everything apart and put it back together from the fuel pump all the way down to the injectors. I just took everything apart, put it back together, and now it runs like you will see in the next Moto Vlog video. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to go down below, hit the subscribe button, also hit the bell, this way you know when I post a video. I'm also over there on the Twitch, you can follow me there, the same name. Feel free to subscribe, you get some cool little emotes, help support me doing what I do here. Until then, I'm Chris on a 6, I'll see you guys in the next one, later.